let me read for you a scripture that is coming upon my heart and I believe it will be a great blessing for you. Let me read it for you. Galatians chapter 6 verse 7. It says, Do not deceive. Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. We will be seeing 2024. You know, it will be like any other year that you've seen in the past. And new trends may come. New fashions may come. But unless and until we take decisions now, we cannot change our tomorrow. You know, a lot of people, the new year or, or, or new day will be a better in their lives. Let me tell you, the new year or a new day cannot change you. It is your decision that you take today. It will change you tomorrow. Because scripture says, Whatsoever a man sows, that shall also he reap. You know, whatever you are taking decisions today, whatever you are sowing into your lap today, you will reap tomorrow. Now, tomorrow is not waiting for you. Tomorrow is the byproduct of today. Whatever you take decisions today, whether you take a wrong decision or a good decision, everything depends on today. If you decide today, you know, you give your heart to the Lord and you decide to take your journey with the Lord, you know, you will see God's favor. You will see God's miracle in your life. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. You know, let me read it from, you know, New English translation. And it will help to understand better. Do not be deceived. God will not be made a fool. You cannot make God a fool. For a person will reap what he sows. Because the person who sows to his own place will reap corruption from the place. The person who sows to his own place will reap corruption from, his, from the place. But the one who sows the Spirit will also reap eternal life from the Spirit. So we must not grow weary in doing good. For in due time we will reap if we do not give up. So then whenever we had an opportunity... Let us do good to all people, especially to those who belong to the family of faith, the household of faith. You know, the Bible clearly told us, whatever you take decisions now, it will affect your tomorrow. And a lot of people that take, you know, they're waiting for another year, we're waiting for another day, to be changed and a lot of people they say no next year I will become a new man next year I will give up my drinking next year I will give up my smoking and on another day another year they're wearing no it's not a day it's not a year that can change your life your life begins now the quality decision that you're taking now it will affect your tomorrow. Now tomorrow itself will never change you. I mean, Jesus was teaching to his disciples, you know, do not worry about tomorrow. Let tomorrow worry about itself. You know, tomorrow, when we think about tomorrow, it is a future. You know, people are waiting just for another digit adding up digit no the year adding up another digit it's just a number it's just another day and it will be it, it will be for you best on your decision you know the worst time is coming those who forsake the lord and the best time is coming and those who surrender their lives 
to Jesus Christ. As you cross over this year to another year, may God be with you. May you take over 2024. You know, please be reminded and pray. If you have not, if you have not prayed today, pray. If you have not seek the face of the Lord, seek the face of the Lord now. Don't wait for another year. After a few minutes, after a few hours, clock to be ticking, and a lot of people are waiting, you know, to welcome 2024 in a different way. The best decision you can take is start your journey with the Lord. If you have not accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, call upon the name of the Lord. Invite Jesus into your heart. Make Jesus your Lord and Savior. If you are a believer and you have forsaken the ways of the Lord and you have slowed down your faith, turn back to the Lord. You know, a lot of people say best is yet to come. Best is yet to come for those people. Best is yet to come for those people who walk with the Lord. Not for the worldly people. You know? Worldly people, those who reject the Lord, one day they are going to Paris. Our journey from now and from forever. Our journey. And when we talk about our journey, there are two journeys. One is a spiritual journey. Another is a fleshly, a carnality. And a lot of people are concerned about tomorrow, what they will wear, what they will eat. They're just thinking and saving their money for tomorrow. The concern is only for the material things or only for the carnality. But when we talk about spiritual, we are investing in eternity. So the Bible is saying, when we sow to our flesh, and a lot of people are concerned about flesh, the worldly things. When we sow, when we sow to our flesh, the Bible said we will reap corruption. We will reap eternal damnation. And we will end up, if we live without Christ, if we live without Christ, whatever we sought, just like a sower, just like a sower who went out to field to sow the seeds. If we sow to the flesh, Bible said we will reap corruption. In another way, people will end up to eternal damnation. People will end up in eternal fire without Christ. You know, I'm so much concerned about your life. And I'm praying for you that as you are waiting for another year after a few minutes after a few hours from now may God convict your heart may God change your heart may God transform your heart the Bible said if you sow to the place you will reap corruption but if you if you show to the spirit Bible said you will reap eternal life everlasting life a life that cannot be destroyed immortal life the life that is in Christ Jesus right now if you have not given your life to Jesus Christ surrender your life to Jesus Give your life to Jesus. And if you have known one, if you have known the Lord, the ways of the Lord, 
And if you are away from the Lord, if you are backslidden, turn back to Jesus. Turn back to Jesus. Come back to Him. Surrender your life to Him. And if you are a strong believer, and I'm, I'm going to say something to you, you know, don't be just casual and take advantage of what is happening around you. Tonight, you pray. Take a strong decision. You know, another day, another year will never change you. It is the Lord Himself who is going to change you. If you start your journey with Yeshua, if you start your journey with the Lord, it is the Lord who is going to take you to another level. It is the Lord who is going to take you to another blessing, another grace, another level. The Bible talks about going from faith to faith, from glory to glory. It is like you're going from one level of grace to another level of grace. One level of faith to another level of faith. One level of grace to another level of grace. May God be gracious upon you. The Bible said, as we have opportunity right now, the Bible said, let us do good. Let us do good because God is good. Let us do good to everyone. The Bible said, especially To the household of faith. As you cross over. Do not. Allow in your heart any bitterness. Any anger. Any malice. As you cross over. May God help you to take over. The promised land. The blessing. The great anointing, the great favor. I pray for you. I pray for you. I pray for you right now. Right now, I come against every assignment of darkness, every demonic assignment, every witchcraft, every darkness that are coming upon your way. Make a way, make a way. Make a way right now. I pray for you right now. I pray for you right now. Any attacks, any evil plan, any premature death, any marine demons coming against your way, every plans of the enemy right now, under the voice, under the voice of my influence, under the unction of God's grace, I come against every works of darkness. Make a way. Make a way. Every evil dream be right now be arrested. I release the anointing right now. I release the grace. Those who are sick be healed right now. Those who are under the oppression and societal thought and every sickness be healed right now. Every disease be healed right now. I release anointing right now. Fire. Fire of God right now. Fire burns on the works of the enemy. Fire burns on the works of the enemy. Receive the blessing. Receive your breath. Receive your portion. Receive your anointing. Receive your grace. In Jesus' mighty name. Be blessed. Be blessed. Amen. God bless you.